Hello guys, this is George Maina and today we are learning structures 3 and we have been given a diagram like this. We are using moment distribution to solve this question. Let me light there for this for ends. We have been given a drawing like this and then you have been told to find the moment. So we have a fixed end, both sides, and A, B, C, it's our point, and it, between A, B have a uniformly distributed load of 20 kN per meter, and with, with a span of 6 meters. And then you have a point load of 20 kN with a span of three, 6 meters, and it has been divided equally, 3 and 3. So when you have, you have been given a question like this, we start by calculating span moment. So, span moment. Span moment, it's for this. Let me draw a sketch like this so that we can know the moment that you are looking for. So, when you're given a question like this, you draw a sketch first. So, uniformly distributed, it have a diagram like this. And this will have a diagram like this. So, we have, when you are looking for span moment, you are looking for the maximum point here and there. So, we start with span moment of AB. AB. So, it's formula of, of finding for a uniformly distributed is WL squared divided by 8. So, it will take our 20. Our length is 6 squared divided by 8. So, so it is 20 times 6 squared divided by 8. Sorry for that. 20 times 6 squared divided by 8, which is 90. So, 90 kilonewton meter. So we go to span span B C which will be W L for a point load that has an uniform length. So divided our road uh, weight is W we take twenty and length is six. So you take the total length divide by four. So it will be 20 times 6 divided by 4, which is 30. 30 kilonewton meter. So we are done with span moment. So the next point, you go to find distribution factors. In our case, DF. So we start with our formula for finding DF. We will start with this AB and we have only one joint. So because we have two points and we use our point is B. So our DF will be DF, DF, DA, which our formula will be I1 all over L1 divided by I1 divided by L1 plus I2 all over L2. In our case, our I has not been given. So when you, are, you have not been given an I, we use, we use 1. So it will be 1 all over 6 divided by 1 over 6 for us 1 over 6 which will give us 1 over 2 so we go to the next distribution factor which will be df cb bc i mean bc so it will be i2 over l2 over 
I2 all over L2 plus I1 all over L1. So it will be same 1 over 6, 1 over 6 plus 1 over 6. So we get 1 over 2. So after you are done with the distribution factors, you go to the finding fixed end moment. Fixed end moment. So let us call it F E M. I hope everyone is following. So I will start with when with the uh, A B. So we have fem A B. So it will be A B. And when we are moving towards the the head side, it will be negative. So we use formula W L squared for the uniformly distributed divided by twelve. That's our formula for finding fixed end moment, which in our case will be negative twenty times six squared divided by twelve, which will be equal to 20 times 6 squared divided by 12, which is equal to 60 kilonewton meter. We go to the next point, which will be now from B to A. So this one will be positive, but the formula is the same. So AB, it will be BA. So positive. So it is WL squared over 12 so you have the same number so it's only the signs that have changed so times 6 squared all over 12 so it's positive 60 kilonewton meter and this is negative remember that so we go to the next point which will be B C so we have said when going towards C it's negative so the formula for the point road, we will use W L all over 8. So it will be negative 20 times 6 divided by 8. Feed that in your calculator. You find 20 times 6 divided by 8, which is... So that is giving us negative 15 kilonewton meter. We go to the next and the last. So C, B. So it will be positive. It's only the sign that is changing in our case. 8. And the values is the same. But it's positive. Divided by 8. So it will be positive 15 kilonewton meter. So we have we are done with fixed end moment and df and span moment. So what we to the last point we go to draw the table which we use to balance and find our moment. So let us draw the table. So we start by drawing the table. So we have joint. Joint you have A and we have joint B and joint C. So I light joint A, B, and C. We go to members. So members, we have here we have A B. Here we have B A. Here we have B C, and here we have C B. So we go to the D F. If DF apply where we have the center and it's we had written here it's a half and it's a half both sides. So I write a half a half and I draw my table. So here we have fixed end moment represented by those initials. So for our AB we had negative sixty 
our B we had positive 16, our BC we had negative 15, and our CB we had positive 15. So when you have been given something like that, we carry over the joint only. So in our case, we have we go to B. In here, we have 60 and negative 15. So we want to balance this joint. So we will take this 60. You add to this negative 15, which we have 15. So you can write this 45 here, positive 45 here. And because you want to balance, you will take negative 50, 45 so that it can add up to zero. So then we balance it in the in in this joint. So we have 45. So we have negative 45. And I hope everyone has understood how you have come to conclude it's negative 45. So we want to balance this this into this joint so we'll take 45 you multiply by the distribution factor in our case we have a half so we divide by 2 45 divide by 2 is 22.5 and it's negative so we take negative 22.5 and here negative 22.5 then you carry you carry over this one a half of this to a and a half of this to to c so here we'll take a half of this of 20 a half of 22.5 divided by 2 it is negative 11.25 the same case here is 11.25 so we go to the final moment Final moment, you take all the moment that you have here and add. So we will take negative 60 minus 11.25, which is negative 71.25. Here we have 60 minus 22, 60 minus 22.5 which is 37.5 and is positive and here we have 37.5 which is negative then here we have 15 minus 11.25 which is 3 positive 3.75 so this is our final moment and as you can see our answers here they are equal so you, you you have noticed that we have balanced our our moment so we go to to draw the moment diagram so we are here drawing the bedding moment diagram so the negative values we draw it on the top of the diagram and the positive we draw it at the lower diagram or we ignore we ignore the signs whatever you want so in the in a moment a we have negative we have negative 71.25 so we come you estimate maybe a negative 71.5 71.25 is here our 37 point 37.5 37.5 we have said positive it will be at the bottom of the table so it here that 7 0.5 so because our, our load here our load here was uniformly distributed we draw the same parabola that we draw for uniformly distributed load something like that but ensure you are neat then shade Make sure you draw it than me. So we go to the next one. We have negative 37.5 for the span A, B, and B. Remember, it was a point road. So that seven, I will assume that seven positive 
negative 37.5 is here, 37.5 is here, that is negative, and C, C is 3.75, so and it's positive, so it's some, somewhere maybe there. So can add a dotted line here for the point road. So this will be here. And we have said when drawing, ensure your drawing is more neat than mine. So here is 3.75. So we had our span moment. So we first introduce a dotted line here so that we can be able to indicate our span moment. So come and indicate it with a thick line from here to here and from here the dotted line up to the v-shaped so our span, span moment for a b was 90 kilonewton m and our the next one was 30 kilonewton m and that is our that is the end of our lesson today i hope everyone had, has understood the question and we will continue learning more complex questions that have shear forces and even more complex. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe. Thank you. Bye.